Hey, howdy, hey, how is everybody doing? And welcome back to Disney Daily. On this channel, I have talked about the most popular, classic, and iconic character of them all, Mickey Mouse. Mickey seems to be a character that most Disney fans know a lot about due to the fact that he has been around for so long and his whole life story has really been flushed out, whether it be on TV, comics, or in storybooks. I mean, we know the basics about him, like his signature attire, his love interest, and his best friends in the whole entire world. But what if I told you that Mickey Mouse has family members? Now this is something I've known for a while now, but I was hesitant to share it on my channel because of a few different reasons. One is that most of the comics are hard to verify whether it's canon or not. Additionally, a lot of these characters are only seen in the comics or only seen once altogether. But I figured why not share this information with you all and you can decide for yourself what to do with it. Plus these videos are just fun to make and add more to our overall knowledge about Disney. So without further ado, let's jump into meeting Mickey Mouse's not so well-known relatives. First, there is Mickey Mouse's older sister who has only ever been seen in the comics thus far. She has been given three different names throughout time, Ms. Field Mouse, Amelia Field Mouse, and Felicity Field Mouse. But Felicity has become the more popular and prominent of them all. She is an anthropomorphic mouse and actually looks exactly like a more mature Minnie Mouse in a lot of her depictions. Her first appearance was in 1932 in a Mickey Mouse comic strip called Mickey's Nephews. In the comic, she is depicted as a much older mouse and is seen dropping off her twin sons to Mickey who has agreed to watch over them. Now it is important to note that in this strip she hadn't become Mickey's sister just yet which is actually pretty apparent due to their huge age gap and the fact that he addresses her as Ms. Fieldmouse. However her looks and her tie to Mickey would be changed into a brother-sister relationship years later in comics by Egmont Publishing. This version of Mickey's sister was known as Felicity and was created by both Disney comic author Paul Hollis and Disney comic artist Francisco Rodriguez. In these more recent versions of the character, Felicity is drawn very tall with a short haircut, bangs, and she still has her twin boys like in the comic I mentioned before. Now moving right along to Felicity's twin sons, which would make them Mickey Mouse's nephews. They are best known as Morty and Ferdy Field Mouse. Unlike Felicity, the twins have appeared quite a bit in various comic book strips and storybooks and are typically featured alongside Mickey and Pluto. The twins' first appearance was in the same comic strip that I mentioned earlier in the year 1932. However, their first TV appearance was in 1934 in a Mickey Mouse short called Mickey Steamroller. In this short, the twins get access to Mickey Steamroller, which causes both chaos around the town and a lot of stress for Mickey. Besides one more brief TV appearance in the 80s, the twins were not seen again on screen until Mickey's Christmas Carol, where Morty played the role of Tiny Tim and Ferdy played the role of Peter. What's interesting to note about the twins is pre-World War II, they are often called Morty and Monty in children's stories, but it seems that Morty and Ferdy would be the names that would stick around and become more popular. Next, there is Mickey's parents. Now, I wanted to put them first in this video, but honestly, there is not a lot of information on them. From what I have researched, they are only referenced about two times throughout all of Mickey's existence. One time in a comic in 1966, but they are given no names and seem to be dressed in more traditional style clothing. The next time would be in Paul Reddish's Mickey Mouse cartoon in the episode Duck the Halls, where they just appear as silhouettes waving hello to young Mickey. The next family members I'm going to mention are more of Mickey's extended family. First, there's Mickey's hermit-like great uncle, Maximilian Mouse, who runs a detective agency and is known as the black sheep of the family. In addition to Maximilian, Mickey has another uncle that is mentioned in the comic entitled Mickey Takes Umbridge. Here, Mickey meets his uncle, Maxwell, who is a college professor. Mickey also has an aunt that is mentioned in a comic series. Her name is Melinda and she owns a guinea pig farm. In the issue, she seems to be very helpful and protective over Mickey. Mickey also has a couple of cousins that are referenced. The first cousin has no resemblance to Mickey whatsoever and her name is Carrie and she formerly owned a farm. Then there is Digger and Matilda who are both from Australia. Now Mickey does have a couple other cousins and family members that are mentioned in the same Paul Reddish cartoon I brought up earlier but I won't be going into that because I personally am more into the comics than I am the TV series but feel free to look it up yourselves if you are curious. Well that concludes this episode of Disney Daily. I hope you learned something new. Please let me know down in the comments comments if you would like more information about Disney characters, family members. As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.